Controller, one of the most played on inputs in Fortnite and the number one thing sought after is the best possible controller settings. So today I will be showing you guys the insane settings that I use to drop high elimination games in tournaments. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I post all types of Fortnite content from ranked speed runs, tips and tricks, and even tournaments. It would also help a ton if you use my code in the Fortnite item shop sr3 that would help me so much jumping into the video the gameplay you guys have been seeing is me dropping a crazy 20 elimination win in a fortnite tournament so you guys know these settings work you guys will have crazy wins just like this on these settings i promise 50 box nice. you just whipped out a fishing pole on me 80 nice I'm down, which one, one, 170, 170. Nice, gone. They're the same skin, though. Yep. You got trapped in there with the gun. Bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. Go to the bottom. Nice, perfect. Oh my god, that's. I still want you to pick it up. It's like literally fighting with him, but. Box? 100? 150? 1 HP? 100? 1 HP in the air. Dead. Okay. Nice. 96 crack, dead. Reloading. That's my Conan's box. Nice, perfect. Boxed. Right. 116. Nice. We gotta hit. We gotta hit hard. Chill. Alright. I'm good. I'm big. No need to rush this fight. You're this kid's dead ass. Long. One HP. Yeah. Okay, one of them died. Yeah, I knew. I knew he was weak as shit. Gotta reload everything. Yeah, I'm reloading my AR. He's gonna make it. He's gonna do that. Got wall. Holding. No, he's just on me. You guys might be like, okay. 450. Okay, take it one. Pop and make fire effect. 74 white, 74 white! Nice right here! Nice. Pop and make, pop and make. Dead. Nice. Keen is good, he's running. Coming. Nice, really. On a wall. One from the right. Thirty on one. On each speed, two hundred. Why he just run at you? <laughs> oh my god! More kids on one. I'm on. Dead. Nice. nice. Here, take the coins. Okay. Nice. Taking. There's a solo on height. I know there is. 143, I'm just getting out. Yeah. He died. Drop your coin, I'll drop your coin. Go no, 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 right here, right here. Just spray him, spray him, spray him. 20 feet. Dead. Nice. Uh, okay. Drop coin now. It yeah. should mark him off. Very good, so. 1 HP! That first one's one. Dead. Nice. This, I'm chasing this kid. No one here. 100? This kid nice. up here was almost knocked out. Okay. Just break, just break these couple things. Okay, I'm reloading my AR. Dead. Nice. There's a kid in zone over here. Got a full. Can't see that. 33 on him. Got him as well. 30. Yeah. Eighty six, one thirty eight. Dead. Now that you guys have watched some of the best gameplay possible with these controller settings, we're going to jump right into the settings now. Look at this map, though. Look at Carter 2K. So ha.
jumping into our settings we're going to be starting straight off with the graphic settings now i do play on full screen 1920 by 1080 i've tried stretch res i just don't like it at all anymore i don't know i just can't get into it brightness is at a 150 with no colorblind anymore i know i used to use it but i do not anymore my 3d res is customized in my uh game settings so i have it set in game settings it, that's why it's at zero i don't actually play zero percent everything else is as low as possible show fps on now my audio settings there's not too much to see here everyone's audio is kind of the same nothing too crazy going on everyone's audio is going to be different everyone audio might be the same i used to use 3d headphones i don't anymore that's probably the only change other than that everything's kind of standard now jumping into my uh, just general settings i play on central mainly because that's what competitive is but i do get zero ping on east and then other than that i mean i have my preferred weapon slots here my shotguns in my first slot smgs in my second my ars last and my middle two slots are normally heals or maybe like an equipment item like jetpack whatever it might be i'm scrolling down here i do not play with edit on release on i don't i do use pre-edits but no edit on release no edit reset i don't find it useful at all i think it's honestly one of the worst features for controller players in general but not everyone thinks that now these two settings down low are going to get you a lot more performance and a lot lower input delay these energy saving options you're going to want to have both of them off completely you do not want to use them at all rocket racing we're not here to talk about rocket racing we don't care about it at all now for my hud settings everyone's is going to be different this is what i use if you guys are curious i have a lower damage number scale than i used to because recently i've been trying to get surge tags in competitive or just try to tag people from far away and my damage numbers were literally blocking the player's head so i couldn't i couldn't even hit them properly so i just changed them around but there's really nothing crazy going on here if you use these gyro settings there's a reason you're not winning games my boy turn them off turn them off now my keyword settings there's this is a controller video bro we don't care about these at all bro screw get those out of there that was disgusting what we just looked at now i know before i played on expo but now it is completely different we are playing back on linear so we are using a 1.9 build 2.0 edit 4343 for the look and horizontal 2-2 boost not not anything crazy sometimes i turn the boost completely off to be honest but recently i've been rocking a 2-2 boost and my ads sense is different than normal i'm using an 8-8 with a 1-1 boost this really helps counteract with recoil with the new striker and the aug coming back to the game it helps a ton now like i said we are back on linear i don't know i just didn't feel like my shotgun aim was good enough on expo so i swapped it back over and it's been going a lot better as you guys can tell Aim assist strength at 100. You guys could go lower if you're feeling brave. And then a 10 Ted dead zone. And make sure you guys enable this foot controller for a little bit of extra, extra juice. You know, a little bit of extra juice. Now going over to the controller binds, I'm actually going to take my controller and explain them to you. First off, I do normally switch my controller to generic because it gives you the lowest input delay. So I do play on a PS5 controller, but I switch it over to generic when I'm on PC. If you guys are on console, you can't do that, but it all works the same. So this is the controller that I use. It's a PS5 scuff in or not scuff instinct, a scuff reflex has four paddles on the back. Now I have my paddles bound to jump is my right paddle. That's my bottom one here basically. And then right above that is my sprint. And then when you go across, my bottom paddle is my switch mode, and right above that is my pickaxe. So overall, that's kind of the best settings to use. And then I use left stick for edit. I use this R1 for confirm l2 release or a reset not release and overall it's been working for me very well i'll kind of scroll through this if there's something you guys might want to see you know you can go through the video kind of scroll through it i'll switch it over to playstation 5 so you guys can see like what binds are what but overall it's really really simple binds i use these binds even when i didn't play paddles i would just kind of you know use the edit binds but switch mode was a little weird i had to take my analog stick off so i do recommend getting paddles or playing claw if you guys don't these settings do work on PS5, Xbox, PC. They work if you play Claw. They work if you play Paddles. There's not like a, a preference that you need to do this just to play these settings. They work on everything. You just got to try them, get used to them, play. But that is all the settings, man. I do love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.